Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Steven. If you're newly diagnosed with CML, it can be very scary, overwhelming, and lots to digest. We want to help put you at ease, especially if you've been diagnosed with CML in the chronic phase. I'm an 11 year chronic phase CML survivor. I was diagnosed at age 34. I was on Tocigna pills for eight and a half years and have now been in treatment for remission for over two and a half years. <laughs> if you're diagnosed in the accelerator blast phase, this video might also help, but I wasn't diagnosed in those phases, so your treatment may be different. We've put together some video clips to help educate you and give you hope. You'll learn about CML, treatment options, and how CML is monitored. Chronic myeloid leukemia, or CML, is a blood disease, specifically of the white blood cells. These white blood cells prevent infection. CML is caused when a piece of the 9 chromosome and a 22 chromosome break off and switch places. This creates a specific chromosome known as the Philadelphia chromosome on the chromosome number 22. Within the Philadelphia chromosome, there is now the BCR ABL gene. The ABL piece comes from the 9 chromosome and the BCR piece is from the 22 chromosome. The BCR ABL gene produces a protein which causes the body to produce too many white blood cells. These white blood cells eventually will crowd out red blood cells and causing an imbalance that can get you sick. Not everyone will experience all of these symptoms of CML. In fact, some of you might not even experience any symptoms of CML, especially if you're diagnosed early in the process. Common symptoms of CML include bone pain, bruising, enlarged spleen, fatigue, fever, night sweats, unexplained weight loss, shortness of breath, and weakness. I experienced a handful of symptoms. I also had an enlarged spleen, although I didn't know at the time, and that probably caused me to lose a little bit of weight. I had night sweats for on and off for a while, but didn't really think much about them. We live in the south, and I thought it was just hot at night, and I started noticing bruises on my leg and thighs. These are really dark bruises, not normal ones. After taking my drug, all of my symptoms went away. Another important thing to know about CML is that you can be diagnosed at different phases. And the phase you're diagnosed in determines your treatment. Most people are diagnosed in the chronic phase. However, some may be diagnosed in the more advanced phases of accelerated or blast phase. There are three phases of CML. Each phase is determined by the number of immature white blood cells known as blasts. Normal marrow or blood contains 5% blasts. In the chronic phase, which most people are diagnosed in and most people live in, less than 15% of the white blood cells contain blasts. The next two phases are accelerated and blast crisis. These are considered advanced CML. In accelerated CML, there may be more mutations. The disease will grow faster and the blasts are higher than normal, generally between 15 and 30%. In addition, platelets will go down, not related to any treatment. The blast crisis is the most serious phase of CML. In this case, it is life-threatening and very difficult to treat. The blast numbers are generally over 30% of the blood. Usually, if someone's in blast crisis, the only treatment is to try a stem cell transplant. Many people with CML are prescribed TKIs. That stands for tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Usually you take your pill once or twice a day, depending on the TKI that you're taking. TKIs block the signals that cause cancer cells to grow. With CML, they impact the BCR ABL protein by stopping it from causing the uncontrolled growth of white blood cells. There are five major TKIs used to treat CML. These are split into three generations. The first generation drug is called imatinib or Gleevec. There are three second generation drugs. They are nilotinib, which is Cigna, Satinib, also known as Spicel, and Basutinib, also known as Bosulif. There's one third generation drug that's been approved, and that is called Panatinib or Eclusive. Each generation of drug is better at targeting specific mutations. These, these drugs are usually more effective in earlier generations, but they might have more side effects. 
if you have been diagnosed in the accelerated or blast phase, which are called advanced CML, then your treatment might be a little different. For example, if you're diagnosed at the blast phase, most likely you will need to go through a stem cell transplant. There are a lot of different TKI options, depending on if you have pre-existing conditions or the availability of TKIs in your country, or insurance coverage might also be a consideration as to which TKI you take. The important thing to know is that there are lots of options for CML survivors, and this is good news. So if you're experiencing a lot of different side effects with the TKI that you're currently on, you might be able to switch to another TKI, or you might also consider adjusting the dosage. And we would encourage you to talk to your medical team about that. The PCR test is the main test to monitor your CML. It is recommended to get this test at diagnosis and every three months. Once the PCR is less than 1%, you can get it for three months for the next two years, and then afterwards every three to six months. A bone marrow aspiration and biopsy should be done at diagnosis. This should be the only time you need one of these tests. However, if you don't meet the milestones that we will discuss in the next section, or have a change in your results, your doctor may request another bone marrow. Complete hematological response. This is when the blood counts get back to normal. For example, the white blood cells and the platelets. Early molecular response. This is when your PCR is between 1% and 10%. The goal is to get under 10% at the three month mark. Complete cytogenetic response, or CCYR. This is when no Philadelphia chromosome is detected with the FISH test. This can be done via blood or via bone marrow. It also means that a PCR is less than 1%. And the ideal goal is to get there by 12 months. Major molecular response, or MMR. This means a PCR of less than 0.1%. The ideal time frame is to reach this within 12 to 18 months. PCR negative. This means a PCR of 0.0% or at least less than 0.01%. No timeline is given for this but reaching this milestone is required for treatment-free remission, or TFR. If you have been diagnosed with chronic phase CML, there is a lot to be hopeful for. The treatment is typically just taking TKIs, and the prognosis is generally good. To learn more about CML and healthy living, please subscribe by clicking the button below. Thanks for all your comments and sharing your experiences. We have really appreciated getting to know our subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed, now's your chance. Thank you for watching today. Together we heal.